The President Obama is scheduling to deliver these remarks from the Rose Garden this afternoon, where he's going to officially announce a significant change in federal policy towards illegal immigrants. This is big news today. Uh, the President is going to be talking about the federal government stopping the deportations of U.S. citizens that they feel have been brought to this country and deserve to be here since they've been here as children. This is certainly a large news seen as a power play by some who have been watching this. Again, these are children who came to the U.S. before the age of 16 and are currently under age 30. They're also going to be eligible for work permits. The new policy effective immediately. A lot to talk about today with our political power panel for this Friday. We have Perry Bacon, MSNBC contributor and political editor for The Grio, Chris Cofinas, Democratic strategist and former chief of staff for Senator Joe Manchin, David Winston, former senior advisor to Newt Gingrich's campaign and current advisor to Congressman John Boehner, and then NBC Latino contributor Victoria De Francesco Soto. It's great to have all of you with me today. Victoria, I want to start with you because Latino voters have criticized President Obama implementing comprehensive immigration reform uh, during his first term. So is this a sharp and fast step toward the right direction, something that they can feel that they're seeing happening? Absolutely. This is the type of bold move that the Latino community has been wanting. He's going to secure this vote. And I also think this bold move shows the general public, not just Latinos, that the president is not going to stand up to a do-nothing Congress, to a Congress that basically has said, we don't want to do anything until January. So he's also mobilizing the greater electorate and saying, I am the president. I'm going to make bold moves. You want to give me another four years. Bold moves, political overtones certainly out of this, Chris. And let's talk about it because there are tight races uh, in states that are critical to the president, like Colorado and Nevada. How do you think that this is going to go over in states like that where the president would like to carry them? Well, I think that you look at it kind of two ways. Listen, morally, I think this is the right thing to do, right? Politically, it's also a smart thing to do. Uh, if you're talking about in key battlegrounds, Florida, Colorado, Nevada, states that the president has to win, states that Romney, in order to win, has to be competitive, if not win, mm -hmm. uh, I think it helps the president. It shows the president is decisive in dealing with an issue that is incredibly complex that, let's be frank, Congress has been completely incapable of dealing with and was going to be completely incapable of dealing with in the future. So smart uh, political and otherwise. Certainly an outreach, David, to the Latino community. And Mitt Romney and his campaign, they've been criticized for the fact that they are not being able to reach that critical voting block. Certainly the fact that he would veto the DREAM Act has also been criticized heavily for his self-deportation remark. How do you think that Mitt Romney, who's going to be embarking on that bus tour starting today, is going to take this news and the campaign, try to pivot on it? I, I think what this represents, unfortunately for the president, is his inability to create any consensus in terms of getting both sides to sort of work together in terms of doing this has been a, a divisive issue for, for quite a while here um, but the president has been unable to really create that consensus and what what governor Romney is trying to do and what you'll see him try to do is how do I get a majority of people behind a particular policy direction that's been the challenge to anybody dealing with this issue of immigration nobody's been able to put a majority behind whatever direction the people have come up with Perry does this shift the conversation from the economic message now to the social immigration issue I think it absolutely does we're an issue where Romney's got to figure out where do I stand here? A big Republican base, which is not very does not like illegal immigration. You also got moderate voters who really do care about this issue. Latino voters as well. He has to win, so it's a big challenge for where he places himself. This is definitely going to be a pro helpful Obama, hopeful, hopeful for Obama. Not sure if it'll help Romney. Or not it depends on where he stake, takes a stand. He hasn't really said what he's for yet. Victoria, does this come too late? You know, well, first of all, I wanted to take issue with the, the matter of immigration not being a consensus issue. In theory, the Republicans should support this. Here in Texas, the, the Republicans just passed a party platform calling on the federal government to pass a guest worker program. And many Republicans, the, the sticking point with Republicans is the path to legalization. The issue of having permits has really not been problematic. So in practice, the Republicans were probably not going to like the bold move. But in theory, they should be right on board. But, but it goes back to, look, you need congressional action here. I mean, what the mm -hmm. president is doing, the reason he's doing this on his own is because he's been unable to create a consensus within the Congress, right? And so what he, so he's going out and trying to implement a policy just because he wants to do it. That's and that's not, not the way it works. That's, that's, does I mean, this, does this implement the conversation that's, that's, of the do-nothing Congress then? And just, no, but Congress has been doing just reinforce things, but, that message. But, but where, where has been his initiative up to this point in terms of really pushing an immigration bill? It has not been there, right? He suddenly decides to do this on his own because it's politically bill. acceptable in terms of... That's 
that's trying to accomplish. That's actually not true. That's actually not true. Hey, when it, mean, when well, it comes to immigration, the bill. What was the that bill? is not true. When What's it comes to immigration, Congress has completely dropped the ball. The president on this issue, I would the say, president has the president has, on this issue, I would say, having worked up there, the president, I think, has actually been really aggressive Two on, words, on immigration Marco reform. Rubio. Except he didn't deliver a bill. That's kind Jill of a minor point. Victoria, sorry, jump in there. Victoria, go ahead. I was going to say, this is very much the type of legislation that, say, Marco Rubio wanted. He is inched away from a path to legalization, but he has said, we need to do something about immigration. So, I mean, can you get any more Republican than Marco Rubio? And if this is the type of policy that he supports in the Congress, mm -hmm. you can't say that this is something that the Congress is not supporting. So then the president should endorse Rubio's plan and try to move forward with it. But the fact is, you need a piece of legislation to be able to change the policy. All right. Well, uh, we're going we're gonna to get to more of this in just a second. We have to thank Victoria. Victoria DeFrancesco Soto, thanks for joining us.